in making good progress in this one. So let's get into it here. Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We're on part two of this, one hour, 54 minutes. Um, as far as progress goes here in Zelda, um, made it through Palace 1 and 2 in about two hours for those two. Um, and I'm about to go to uh, Palace 3 in the late world. And then um, all of this is so that we can we can get uh, three medallions or, or something like that in order to be judged worthy enough to acquire the Master Sword, which an NPC said was hidden in the forest um, north of Kakariko, I want to say. Uh, and then once we get those three medallions, we'll be judged the, the, the hero worthy enough of the, the, uh, the Master Sword. And then we need the Master Sword because there is a wizard that's been abducting wise men or something in in the country of Hyrule and has been sacrificing them in order to gain the Triforce or something. Um, and the only weapon capable of defeating that wizard is the Master Sword. So that's, that's why we have to do all these steps in order to get there. Um, there's also a whole bunch of lore that was in the manual and in the start of the game about, like, the the sacred land, that's where the Triforce was when the gods created the, the world of Hyrule. Um, and then in some alternate dimension or something, uh, Ganondorf exists, and Ganondorf actually got to the Triforce, but then Ganondorf was sealed away or something by wise men, I guess, and, th and then there's a wizard for some reason. <laughs> like, there's, the, there's a lot of lore for this game. Apparently I spent almost a half an hour reading the manual for the game last night. Um, luckily we won't be doing that tonight. Um, and as far as other progress goes, I have also uh, found five heart pieces so far. So I'm making a note of where I found those just in case I need to... Um, if, if I'm like really close to getting all the hearts and all the items at the end of the, uh, the playthrough, then I at least have something here and I can ask chat for hints. Um, ask spoiler council for hints as to where, where some remaining things are. Um, so, we'll see. That's why I'm making pretty precise notes or as precise as I can notes for stuff that I've already found, you know? <laughs> just in case. Just in case. I'm not I'm not planning to 100% this. Um, hey, horrible. Um, but we'll see. We'll we'll see how I'm feeling. If I if by the end of this playthrough I'm thinking like, oh man, I just want to get this over with, or yeah, I wanna I wanna play more of this game, then then we'll go from there on whether or not I wanna try and find everything. But I'm gonna do my best to to try and find as much as I can by myself. Um, but I'm I'm sure there's gonna be some point in this where I just gotta ask spoiler council. So we'll see. We'll see. And a reminder again, this is a as much as a, of a blind playthrough as can realistically be. I've seen speedruns of this, 100%, any percent, randomizers and all that. I've seen a whole bunch of those over the years, but I can't remember most of anything in this. So this might as well still be a blind playthrough for this one for me. Um, so if you have any any like hints or, or spoilers or anything like that, please use the spoiler function in, in Discord chat so that I don't see it or hear it. <laughs> Three or five years to beat it? Nice. Well, I never beat Zelda 1 or 2 um, when those came out, so even three years is significantly faster than I ever beat them. It took me 20 years. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would do it too if you, if you literally don't understand the language. <laughs> that would do it too. <clears throat> All right. Uh, caution, if you're photosensitive, screen's going to flash here in 10 seconds. So look away if you're photosensitive. All right, look away now if you're photosensitive. All right, screen flash is over. I can't skip that, by the way. That's always going to play at the, <laughs> at the title screen. Um, okay, so... That is all the hearts we got so far, and glad that it kept my save. Um, alright, so we have the choice here to start from Link's house in the Sanctuary. Where we want to go is on the north end of the map, which the Sanctuary is actually going to be closer. So we'll start from this. Um, oh, that's a different map. So, 
there was um there was some bombable walls in the area behind here in the the sewer level but i i don't think i can even access that again because this this whole thing opened up you defeat the wizard souls may regain their sanity okay that also healed me okay cool go seek dependence follow the remarks the elder made on your map when you explore if you don't know what to do you can also visit a fortune teller so yeah I'm, I'm also glad that they they put in multiple hint systems in this as to as to where to go because that that really was a big issue with um zelda 1 and zelda 2 uh more so 2 because one it was just hey do you know how to count that's how you get to the next thing and two there's there's some kind of obscure things that you had to do to progress the game um all right so yeah i don't know how i can get back to the area behind the shrine there into the sewers um or if you can or if the, that's just like a, a tease maybe i don't know i don't know i don't know what the deal with that is um okay so this that is our third and final um medallion that we need to get um and then once i get that the sword is apparently over there and then I guess we fight the wizard after that. Um, so to get up to there, what's looking most likely is this uh, this cave in the mountain off to the left here. And I think I couldn't get to that before because there was rocks on the ground in front of there. But now that I have the um, now I have the power glove, which is in the lower left of the inventory there, um, I can lift up rocks with the power glove. I also have the Pegasus boots so I can dash. Um, let's see. Uh, bow and arrow, got that. Boomerang, bombs, uh, bug catching nets, ice rod. <laughs> ice rod, no no space between ice and rod, because of course. Um, Lantern, we got the beginning of the game. Book of Medora lets me read um, ancient Hyrule text. Um, lamp for lighting fires and then i got two bottles it looks like there's space for at least four bottles on there um i caught a bee but then i didn't see a reason to keep the bee so now i just have two fairies in here i'm still not sure if this game does the thing where if you run out of lives but you, if you have a fairy in a bottle if the fairy automatically revives you if you die um i'm not sure if that's the case uh i kind of want to check before I'm in any danger. Um, like, you might need to have it equipped on you, or just having it in your inventory will work. Um, Alright, I think I actually want to test, so we're gonna... We're gonna science this. Because I can always just reset. Okay. Alright, so yes. That does work. Um, and it uses up the one on the top. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, science complete on that then. Um, now I don't have to wonder. Uh, okay, and then fairies have been relatively easy to get. Um, I also have 991 rupees at this point in the game. Um, I don't know if I'm just getting unusually lucky with, uh, oh, well, there's the B. If I'm just getting unusually lucky with, uh, with rupee drops, or if the game is just like that for everybody. Because <laughs> getting rupees and keeping rupees was a struggle in, um... Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. Okay, no items under those. Alright. The 999 rupees. Okay. 
up here. Okay, so we got a big rock there. Danger, do not enter Death Mountain without the king's permission. Hmm. This this might be the only way up. And I, I oh I can lift this up. Oh Okay. Interesting. Alright, we did not get the king's permission, but I think we'll be okay. The the king is literally a skeleton right now, so Oh, Okay, so the, the manual said that these were called manholes. The ones that that are that shape. And those bring you down to a level below you. But I don't think that's the case here. Oh, hello. I don't know who you are, but if you're going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Okay, he's just going to follow us. <laughs> All right. Sure. Does he know the way out of here? Uh, watch your step. They're holding the ground. Can you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the fountain to look for the golden power? This head is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Well, too late. Uh oh, he told me to turn right, and I did, and it's full of bats. Alright, where to from here, old man? Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter. Who is your age? King took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. turn into stone. Sure. Well, this is this is great. <laughs> Frame rate is not so good here. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to a little man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. I feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. Immediately hit by a boulder. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he's trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you'll need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back at any time. Oh, he heals you. Cool. Okay, the moon pearl is in the tower at the top, and so is the, um, uh, the medallion, or pendants, whatever, whatever that. So it sounds like that's going to be the, the item that we're getting, is the moon pearl. Oh, huh. <laughs> it goes back that way. Okay, so let's take a look here real quick. 
All right. Uh, mushroom. Okay, magical mirror. You can use this mirror to escape from the dark world to the light world. A portal that is created can also be used as a gate back into the dark world. But be warned, if the place where you reappear in the light world is a place where you cannot normally go, such as inside a wall, you will be forced back into the dark world. Note that the mirror will also return you to the entrance when used in a dungeon. The magical mirror cannot be used in a house or cave. Okay. Alright, sure. Fair enough. <clears throat> Oh, huh, so if you're in a randomizer and you don't have the, the lantern yet, you just have to know the way through everything. Um, ah, here we go. This cave leads back to the path, path to Kakaruka Village. Okay, sure. We got a heart piece up there. Uh, this looks suspicious. Okay, so there's two heart pieces here. Oh, there's logic in there for, uh, Making that impossible. Okay, so I think this is um, this is spectacle rock. Is probably what this this is. The spectacle rock was also on Death Mountain in uh, in Zelda One. Oh. So just north of here. What is this? Uh oh, we're a bunny. I can't do anything. Uh. So this this is spectacle rock. So I should be able to use this. Okay. All right. So now we're on top of spectacle rock. Peace heart. Okay. All right. So this was spectacle rock on top of mountain. Got him. Um, so I could probably, yeah, just do this to get over to here. Okay, and this gives me access. Please. <laughs> this gives me access to this tower. Um, Alright. So before I go in there, let me look around a little bit just so that I don't have to come back here okay. this hold up the master sword and you will get the magic of ether okay so this was Just writing a reminder myself to come back here when I have the magic, uh, the master sword.
Oh, I probably can't do anything here. Okay, sure. Alright. Looks like all that we can do is the tower here. Which is fine, that's what we came here to do. I just noticed I have I have six bombs and six arrows, and I I definitely had 30 arrows when I um, saved the game. Um, okay, so the manual said that these things can be moved by striking that, and you can repeatedly do that. Okay. All right, some proper dungeon puzzles here. So the next question is, can I hit this with boomerang? Yes, so you can hit it with the boomerang, and I'm also assuming arrows too. It is I, Sahasrala the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. And the fact that he tells you that here means it's probably required for, for progress. This is a six-floor dungeon. Oh, man. Okay, and it's just six floors of one big room, it looks like. Okay, and we start on the second level. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go down to start. I just... Yeah, okay. We can just do that. <laughs> Very difficult. Okay. Probably just have to survive with the door to open. Okay. As I suspected. Alright, come here, Molt. Oh, God. <laughs> well. Okay, I don't count these as deaths, by the way. Only if I get the game over screen and have to have to respawn. Those are deaths. Okay. That's a really weird hitbox for the sword spin. Oh nice. I assume that's on the the menu screen. Okay, so we got the big key. But with with my own counter, it's always gonna be on screen. Oh you see it in the credits, yeah. I think one and two, Zelda one and two did that too. 
okay, so this this is where you have to. I guess you don't have to, but I could warp back to the the start with the, the mirror here. Okay. Actually, maybe I do. Oh, I should also mention, um, this, this was the first game that, uh, oh god, um, that I saw a speedrunning competition for. This was back in 2003, in, like, it was either late 2003 or early 2004, um, at UC Santa Cruz, the, the college that I was attending at the time. Um, there was a gamer meetup uh, on campus, and it was like a, okay, we're going to set up a huge projector, um, and we're going to, like, compete in, in fighting games, uh, have races in Mario Kart Double Dash, um, things like that. And then one of the parts of the events was a speedrun competition um, of this game, uh, and there was, like... 10 people that entered into it um, and the person who won the game for start and finish finish the race their time was I think about 6 hours <laughs> 6 hours to, uh, to do any percent back then and that was um, that was my first like organized speedrunning thing that I ever saw um, okay. Yeah, pretty casual speedrun, but, uh... Oh, jeez. But this, uh, the, uh, predates, like, a lot of strat sharing and all that. And it was just, uh, beat the game as quick as possible. I don't know what... What are these? Oh. Okay. And those you... Okay, those you have to walk on to. Alright. Sting? Yeah, and the winner of the race did it in six hours. And there, there's like ten people who entered. That's an exhibition? Nice. So this, this dungeon looks like it really, um, makes you use this mechanic here of, of falling into the, the holes here. I don't see a reason to fall into the hole in that room. one yeah I still haven't I haven't played X1 like the the most Mega Man that I have I played is um, legends legends one I played through most of legends 2 but have never uh, never beaten that one yet either that one's on the to-do list So where is this? Alright, top floor is the boss. I think it is I, Sasrala the Elder, an orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. 
Whoever holds the Merton Pearl is project protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. Oh, okay, so this, this means we won't be a bunny in the Dark World anymore, forget that. Cool. Must find it and escape from the tower, don't forget the Merton Pearl. Um... Okay. If we do this, that gets us a little bit closer to there. I have a feeling I probably have to be dropping, dropping from the ceiling to get to, uh, to get to this, while also not, uh, not changing, pressing the star pattern again. Like, if I remember correctly, the speedrun does something... something here to, like... To, to glitch across this or something... by by triggering these from the wrong side, or it's... I don't know. There, there was some, some trick to this... that I know you can do in speedrun. But I just... I barely remember it. Um... Hmm. Okay, so there's bombable walls on the left. Uh, but, the problem is... We got bouncy things here. Okay, there's bombable walls up here. So right... Right here, I think, is where the pit was. In the room down below. So dropping in this hole is not going to do anything. Um, huh? Oh, I suppose I could have just done that. Okay, so those aren't actually armable walls. So let's just, for giggles, drop into here. Oh, that did work. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Found the Moon Pearl. This protects the hero from changing effects of the Golden Power. Okay. Alright, I figured it out. Very hard puzzle there. Okay, let's go fight the boss. I was expecting that to be a little more... A little more difficult than that, but... Alright. Sure. Okay. I think this is Moldorm. No, God damn it, Muldor. <laughs> Not a death, just embarrassing. I almost had him. I almost had him. Nope. No, you don't! 
God damn it, hold <laughs> on. All right, Moldorm. Heels. Fucking mobile arm, dude. What? You can't bomb mobile arm's tail? Bullshit. There's there's our first death. <sighs> All right, first game over. It's on fucking Moldorm, of course. All right. Pretty sure you probably need that moon pearl to, to get through the game. All right, more hearts, please. Why is I gonna get bullied by Moldorm again? I know, right, <laughs> kid. Uh. Right, I'm assuming all the hearts are probably in that, uh, that area on the right side of the screen up here. How you get to those, though? Hmm. Cause I'm sure that's where all the heals are. But it's fine. I don't. I don't need heals. I got this. Moldor ain't shit. I got this. You hear that, Moldorm? Got him. Fuck you, Moldorm. 
<sighs> that doesn't give you all your hearts back? Jesus, okay. Alright. We'll call each major item like this a, a save. Okay, 2 hours 30 minutes. Yeah, I bet with like a as RNG as as that boss appears to be. The Pendant of Wisdom, we've collected all three pendants. Now go to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Okay. Alright, so now that we have the Moon Pearl as well from that, which is in the bottom center of the inventory, let's take a look-see at what that even is. Combos. Your inventory. Keys. Moon Pearl. People who enter the dark world are transformed into a shape that reflects what's in their hearts. You can prevent this by obtaining the Moon Pearl, which protects its bearer from the power of the Triforce. Okay. Alright, sure. <clears throat> so. Um. And then once I get the Master Sword, I want to come back here that so over here was the portal to the dark world if I do this I shouldn't be a bunny anymore okay nope no okay I'm gonna have to go Go get fairies again. Here soon. Wow, your shape didn't change. You got the moon pearl, huh? Is this just... <laughs> okay, that's an NPC, huh? You didn't change your shape. You aren't just a normal guy, are you? Alright, sure. I'm not sure if I want to stay in the dark world here or or what. Oh, look. Hey, eh. this is just a heal fairy. Okay, that's neat, I guess. Lots of ways to restore HP in this game. These things look like chocolate pancakes. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I probably need the hook shot to get across that. I think this is the area that I didn't fully explore. Like this is next to where uh wise man was. Or I'm assuming that was a wise man. This guy. Moon Pearl protects its bear from the magical air. Keep your human shape all you can do now. Okay, so that's all he's got to tell us. Okay. All right, sure. I'm not sure if these things are Gorons or not. They turn into stone, so they might be Gorons, but they have wings, which makes me suspect they're not Gorons. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's how I got into here. Um... I oh, 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 oh that's right that's right there was a there was a sign that said here's here's the way back to Kakariko um and it was outside I think uh it was maybe maybe in here like behind the guy. I can get my health back. I definitely saw a door that said this is the way back to Kakariko. This is this. There it is. It must be this. Okay. Back to Kakariko. Okay. Found it. Probably like a random heart piece in here, too. Oh, okay. This puts you above the where you started. Well, fuck that sign. Um, okay. Uh, what's up, bro? Yo, Link, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. We have to be careful. Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. So this tree might be different in the dark world. House of Lumberjacks, A Bumpkin and B Bumpkin. Sure. Uh Hey. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Don't see anything that looks out of the ordinary here. Okay, so there's a um let's see. Art East uh, I cave mine for Jack's house it's to okay. This looks like something you gotta get to from the left side of the room. And probably something you can only get to by the dark world. Is this the entrance to the. Oh! This is the entrance to the Lost Woods, apparently. Or one of them. Like, there's the, what looks like to, to be a big entrance down in the center of the screen. Um, and that's next to the Fortune Teller's hut. Uh, okay. So the Lost Woods in Zelda 1 was a screen that 
you had to go through it in a particular way in order to not be stuck. Hey, try tree. Um, it was like north, northwest, something like that. There was four directions you had to go. Hey, we found it. It's the Master Sword. This is it, the Master Sword. No, this can't be it. Too bad. Okay. Oh, is it Gamba time? For a hundred rupees, I'll op let you open one chest. Keep the treasure inside. I will escape. Oh, I see too bad. Drop by again after collecting rupees. So I have 999, but... Unless this guy's got, like, a heart piece, then... Eh, I don't... I don't see a good reason to do this. Because I already... I already have 20 arrows. I have 5 bombs, which is half of the maximum I can carry. So, all I can do here is lose. <laughs> so, nah. Unless this guy is hiding the Master Sword in there. Alright, where's the fairy? Fairy spawn. Oh. Okay. Well, let's drop in. Oh! Okay. Uh, heart piece. Lost woods. Drops in hole. Uh. Okay. Oh. This also looks suspicious. Yeah. Hey kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Entrance of the Desert, that's the guy next to the sign that says, pay no attention to the guy next to the sign. Um, so maybe I can talk to that guy now? I'm not sure why it would matter that he's an ex-thief. Like maybe he'll talk to us now or something. Okay, so the Master Sword is clearly in the, the north end of the woods here. So I guess I just want to be headed north. Alright, that's this is a suspicious looking mushroom. This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Um... Huh? Let's see here. What's what's the deal with this mushroom? Sweet smelling, sweet tasting, strange smelling mushrooms are an ingredient for making magical powder. You can find these while wandering in the lost woods. Okay. So I need to find a potion maker. Um so in Zelda 1, you could buy potions from the potion seller lady uh, after you had a note. You had to give her a note that said, hey, we're cool, you can sell us stuff. Um, okay, I don't want that equipped. <laughs> uh, hey, it's the Master Sword. Okay, what about up here? Is this the actual Master Sword? Uh, Hero's Triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The Master Sword he will then retrieve, keeping the Knight's true line. 
Okay, I guess, I guess this is it. Suddenly, Sahasrala contacts you telepathically. Link, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Link. Okay. Alright, progress. Master Sword. Got it in 5. We're still at 1 death. Okay. Alright, so this sword is blue now. And it makes a slightly different sound. It looks like it's also longer than our old sword by like a third. I don't know if I'm just misremembering, but it, it sure seems longer. Link, help! The soldiers are coming to Sanctuary! Aye! Okay, sounds like I gotta go back to Sanctuary. So... These... This thief? Oh, man! No, you don't, sir. So for being the Lost Woods here... This, this was not very confusing. <laughs> like, the Lost Woods in, in Zelda 1 was actually a puzzle. This is just... Hey, just walk around until... until you find the thing, you know? Well, no, according to the... according to the manual, um... Everybody with long ears in this game, long elf ears, is able to... Oh, I can one-shot them now. Cool. Um, is able to communicate telepathically. This way to the Lost Woods. Alright. Okay, so we're back in town now. Um, is there anything that I can do here? I guess I can go to the shop and buy some, uh, some health potion, I guess. This is 120 rupees and I kind of need it at this point. Um, I don't see anything else that would be super helpful. Maybe this guy has another bottle. All out of bottles. Okay. So unless I can get another fairy to spawn. Okay, so now that we're at full health, we can shoot a blade beam. Just like Zelda 1. Not getting fairy spawns here, unfortunately. Still not sure what the point of this building is. Like maybe in the dark world, this building has a point, but it certainly doesn't here. Okay, so the shop was down here. This is the library. This is the shop. Oh no, this is... Uh, I could have sworn the shop was over here. It's not this, because that's the... Brothers.
It must be the, the building in the bottom right of the village. Must be this. Or not. Okay. Really like to play the flute. A lot of frivolous things. We've heard all of this before. I could have sworn one of these was the shop. Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess I don't need it that badly. Because that's the guy with the overgrown lawn. I don't think I've been here. This is new. Okay, what's the... Oh, I think I... Yeah. My lost partner returns. We can temper your sword, but now I can't do anything for you. That guy can upgrade our sword for us. looks more like an exit than an entry. Okay, so the blade beam does half damage of a direct sword hit. So I can get down there if I can move this thing out of the way, which I don't think I currently can. So there might be a portal to the dark world somewhere in or around the village. I think the manual said there was eight, eight portals to the dark world. And there's got to be some hidden ones. Uh... Okay, I don't know if I need to go back to Sanctuary or just go right back to the castle. Um... I suppose I can just go to the Sanctuary and see what's happening. This might actually be required. that's a guaranteed spawn because it seems like I've gotten a fairy every single time I've cut some of these yeah, this guy's taking a nap over here Link, you're second too late I failed Zeldo, the soldiers have abducted her, they have taken her to the castle you must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. Okay, this this might have been required. That sounds required. All right, rip that guy. He didn't even restore my health while I was here. Jeez. This isn't a guaranteed fairy. Okay, sure. 
I don't suppose I can just go south from here. The map makes it look like you can just go south from the screen. Can, apparently. All right, charging in. Okay. wizard. But not here. Still can't push this. This the icon the icon was clearly here. Yeah. Okay, so there wasn't there's doors I didn't go in on the right side here. So that looks like it goes outside in the south end. And this just goes back down. So maybe I have to I have to go outside via the One of those exits on the left or right? It's going. Yeah, it's going great. I died to Moldorm, of course. <laughs> Fucking Moldorm gave me the business. But otherwise been been going pretty smoothly here. <laughs> yeah, fuck Moldorm. Exactly. Moldorm. So now I'm on my way to fight the wizard, which, okay. I guess that's what we needed the master sword for. Clear that seal there. Okay. Oh, so we got a whole separate dungeon here? We do. Seven floors, huh? Okay. Sure. Fight with that sword. I tried to uh, the damage damage Moldorm without uh, with a bomb. These things take a lot of hits. Holy crap! All right, this is substantially easier with the laser sword. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
whole block bottom center. Surely this block is as a solution for something. Okay. I'm not sure what that did, but we moved the hell out of that block. Uh maybe that that was to open the door. That's probably to open the door. <laughs> Yo. Okay. All right, we got two fairies. So I did science before, and I I figured out through science that if you run out of hearts, the fairies will automatically restore you once you're fully out of hearts. So we got two fairies ready to go. course. Alright. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. I want my laser sword back. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking again. make sure that there's nothing I missed here. It seems pretty normal to me. The the boomerang's been surprisingly useful in this. Much more so than like the Zelda one Boomerang. Listen well, Link, even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. more bombs. So physical harm probably also means bombs, probably also means arrows. This looks like it. Um, okay. 
Aha, Link! I've been waiting for you, heh 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 heh. I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold! The last moment of Princess Zeldo! Oh god, sorry about the flashing. Oh ho ho! With this, the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us, the tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. Oh ho ho! Now I must go. Alright. Going through here? Okay, sure. Oh, so? You mean to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true. Alright, is he gonna summon Moldorm? That's the one thing that will destroy me. Okay. I'm not sure if it requires a spin attack or just a regular attack, but I'll do spin attacks just in case. Oh god. Okay, so if he's in that spot, then it's a... Lightning. Gurg! Well met. Like the true hero that you are, I'm not ready to admit. Defeat yet, I will draw you into the dark world. So I seem to recall there's something you could get there called blue balls, because of course. Um, yeah, no blue balls. <laughs> Uh, Link, it is I, Sarasrala. I am communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the Dark World. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the Seven Maidens. Wagonim sent to the Dark World, members of the bloodline of the Seven Wise Men, they have power that will surely help you. Maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Link I can rely on only you. Please make this old man's wishes come true, I beg of you. Oh, the networks too? Nice. <laughs> Okay, so he said, all right, one is where we want to go first, huh? Okay. Interesting. So I want, ideally I want to go back there sometime because there was, there was something I could get at the top of, uh, top of that area. Um... So I can use the... Alright, well first, first off, I gotta write down here. Progress. Um, wizard. Uh, seven. One death. Okay. Um... So this is the Dark Pyramid. According to the manual, this is where you respawn or something when you when you save and quit, it sounds like. Okay, so there's an opening there, but I can't get to it, it looks like. interact with this. Okay, sure. Okay. 
Yeah, these things are really tanky. Okay. Um... <clears throat> so I'm thinking back to the, um... The flute earlier. We know the guy with the flute uh, was in in the forest here in the light world, and then when we tried to get to him, he would kind of fade away. Uh, I'm pretty sure he he went to the the dark world is probably where he is. Um, so if I go there, I might be able to get the flute. And the reason why I want the flute is because in Zelda 1, the flute was the fast travel system in the game. This way, the Palace of Darkness. Um, and if it's also the case in this game, then I absolutely want, want to be able to fast travel as soon as possible. Because this, this game world is relatively big. Oh, okay. I cannot get past those. Um... Oh. I can't get to the left side of the map, it looks like. If I can't get past that, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I gotta table that idea for now. Because I can't go over there. Uh, okay, I, I guess we're going to the Palace of Darkness then. So this appears to be in the same location as the the first proper dungeon was in um in the beginning of the game. This is too small to be. Oh. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It only obeys the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world that reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power, and look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I'm stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischievous thing to leave lying around. The power of gold. Right force. Alright, thanks, tree. Thanks for the lore dump. here. Alright, sure. Not unwelcome, I guess. <laughs> Just four free hearts, but strange. There's a maze. Maybe there'll there'll actually be things for me to spend my money on in the dark world here. This. The place where I want to get to is just to the right here. Okay. 
Uh, what? I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Um, yeah, I think I can. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki, good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Kiki, Kiki. All right. We have, we have a peepo now, I guess. This looks like something I can interact with, perhaps. Or not. Okay, sure. That, that certainly looked suspicious, but I guess it's nothing. Kiki, you can give me a hundred rupees, I'll open the entrance for you. Kiki, Kiki. What do you do? Sure, do it. A hundred rupees, Kiki, Kiki. Alright. Good thing I had 999 rupees. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't get in here, I guess. Alright. Okay. Interesting. This is um this is the same layout as the uh or the, this room is the same layout as the uh Okay, this is this is now immediately different, but that first room was the same as the first room in the that first dungeon. We well, only lose what maximum ten rupees. Ah. Uh, okay, so this movable statue probably need to use it to uh, hold down a button on the floor. Even though that mechanic hasn't been used so far, I'm guessing that's probably why they let you just move this one continuously. and only that one. Okay. Sure. So these things I haven't had a way to kill yet. Okay, so that, that doesn't do anything. And I don't think the boomerang works. Okay. Alright, sure. Did this warp me? No. I'm not sure what that did. Okay, there's a bombable wall on the bottom. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you're doing your best, but please hurry. Okay. Turtle Rock, huh? Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. Okay, sure. that there. Maybe you want to go down here? I was trying to get both of these. Um, I didn't see stairs back up. And I don't see stairs back up here either. But let's just drop down here see where... Oh! Okay. <laughs> sure. So these things... Uh... 
uh, so the sword doesn't damage its guy. Okay, the arrows do not work. So I guess the the only manhole so far in a dungeon has been um, the holes that have the, the scrolling parallax texture below them and aren't like black below them. I guess that's probably how you're supposed to tell. Oh jeez. Okay, this is... This is going great. Oh jeez. Alright. Oh god. Okay. Alright. Probably need some other item to, to deal with those things. Oh. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? There's a small room to the right. Okay. Oh, yo. Cool. So do those show up on the map as fairy rooms? No. Okay. Well, I'll just have to remember that's there. Ideally, I don't need it at all, but... Okay, cool. I probably want to just warp to... warp to the start. Um, is there anything that goes back to there? I probably just want to mirror back to the start, it looks like. Uh, this is a very useful feature. Uh, door to the left is closed. I never got to the left side of the room. So I have a key now, so I can get through that middle door. Okay, so those have the, the floor underneath them. Dang it. Okay, of course. Of course, there's skeletons. 
All right. Well, it looks like I wanted to be here anyways. All right. Cool. Hey. Yeah, Mr. Boom. Bones is after me. Oh, that brings it here. Okay. Eight bombs. Damn. Okay. Hurts for me. No. Um. Okay. I'll learn them north of me. Uh. Ah, oh, it looked like there was. I might have to drop in again for the room below, but from a slightly different spot. Surely there's a reason why that. Hmm. Hmm. Because there's definitely something on the left side of the room. Um. Okay, and if I fall off the edge here, that that won't bring me to the room below. That's just gonna damage me. Because there's no texture down there. Let's do this part again. This might be a one-way, one-way trip, though. Okay, so that's how you get back out of here. What's the deal with the arrow? This? Ah, ooh, okay. I see. Okay. Uh, this, yeah, okay. of stuff here. Probably for oh this is another alright. I know this puzzle. Okay. Sure. Things again. So glad they brought these things back from Zelda 1. This this looks suspicious. Ah, okay. Alright, well, any day now. That brings me down to there, right? Well, those are the armored enemies that you can really only defeat with uh, arrows. It looks like I just can't do anything here. <laughs> um, okay, well, cool room. I have a feeling whatever item I get here is going to be... What'll, what'll let me through there. Like, these guys... Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Because there's clearly a movable wall there, so... It had to have been that. Um, okay. Oh, this is this room. Alright. 
Okay. So I need to somehow lower th those. Um, like maybe there's there's some sort of mechanic here. So, there's probably a reason why this is here. So I wonder if these, if this does something to projectiles. Like arrows. Because my thinking is I can use this to, to hit this from over here. Um... Because I otherwise can't hit that. And, like, I can't... Unless unless it actually is that, and you just gotta be, like, really... precise or something. Because it looks, it looks like I gotta... I gotta enter this room from the bottom right. Maybe that's just what it is. I gotta... Okay. I gotta enter the room from the bottom right. Make that jump. Um, and actually, I need these in the up position then. Okay. And then enter the room from the bottom right. Jump over the gap. I'm going to leave this bridge intact for now. Okay. Okay. Alright, grab this. Up over the oh god <laughs> okay all right it was a solid plan <sighs> okay I still have three keys all right this oh I see I recall this this room um, having a speedrun skip in it I think something you could do with like I think it was a bomb using a bomb to to clear the gap um, so I don't have the big the big key yet The big keys over here. So it's a. Okay. These must be, um. These are probably Dodongos, I'm guessing. Though you don't need, uh. Don't need bombs to defeat him. Man, there's just there's a lot of keys in this dungeon. Okay. So this should give me access to the big chest, but I don't have the big key. So No so neat. A it's locked, so we need the big key. There's about five rooms that I haven't been in yet. We do have bombs. Why don't bombs open these, these chests? They seem like they would be pretty effective. Two keys. Um, so if I go down, that brings us to the boss room. Um, 
your... This, of course, you can only open here. It's just rupees. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Go back here. So I know I want to. Um, I need to fall down to the lower level again from the left side of one of those rooms. I have to warp to the boss, it looks like. Somehow. Um. Okay. I got the map, didn't I? I did. Why does it... Why do I get the feeling that I'm... So I need to go to level one, kind of in the bottom center. Um, and it looks like there's a staircase I want to take there at the, the top of the room. suppose this is something that just looks like a regular asshole it's just gonna take health yeah okay it is exactly what I thought it was <laughs> um okay Fine, we got fairies. And I know where the fairy room is, so I can get more. Of course, and then the, uh, right then the heart despawns, of course. Um Alright, so the room South of here. This room. Like it it feels like okay, so that's Yeah, they, they really step up the, the dungeon complexity here. So I think I need to break this and then um drop in there. And then that'll get me to the other part of this room that I couldn't access before. Yeah, up here. Okay. two keys and this will get me the chest and this is probably the big key yep cool all right uh so the chest with the item was to the northwest of level one um i have to go all the way around to get to it Okay. I'm here. Okay. Here. Back up 
here. And the next question is... How do I get to the boss from here? Right, I'll worry about that once I get the item. Oh, cool. The, the bridge repairs itself. So I gotta hit this. Back this way, loop around again. Okay. Left side door. Dash across here, go left, go through the maze. Oops. Of course, this thing respawns. Uh. I really wish the that item menu, like, made sense for the, the cursor looping. Instead it pressing right from the right side of the screen loops down to the next row. Alright, what we got? We got the magic hammer. You can drive the wooden stakes down into the ground. You can use it to pound on other things, too. Okay. Uh, bottle bomb lantern. Magic hammer. Use this hammer to pound stakes and other obstacles into the ground. The magic hammer is also effective against some enemies, but it is best used in conjunction with another weapon. Okay. Interesting. I seem to recall there was some tech with this, too. Um, okay, so this doesn't, uh, doesn't use up magic. Okay. It's a, it's a 1.0, Japanese 1.0 thing. I thought it was the... You have to use the hammer and dash at the same time and it lets you... Lets you hammer dash or something. There we go, we can fight these things now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we can beat those things now. Um, okay.
So, there's still a room that I don't have access to yet. Actually, multiple. Um, I'm, 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 okay. All right. So I have a feeling going down here, that's gonna give me access to those rupees, but that's about it. So I'm not gonna bother going down there. I wonder, can this break floors? Okay. Um... God. Okay, so I gotta go all the way around here. Or not. Never mind. Okay. Here. So if I want to get more fairies, I go back there and then I can drop down. Um... If I can get... I don't think I can get over there, to the, the right side of the room. It might have been a one-way, one-way trip back into this room. Okay, whatever. It'll be fine. Surely I won't have any issue with whatever boss is for this area. I still have one fairy left anyways. It should be fine. I already beat the hardest boss in the game, Muldorm. those now. I still have a key. should be a warp in this room. Don't see anything bombable in here. you to light these. Or not? Uh. 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 Okay, there we go. Now there's a Zelda puzzle. Okay, so I still have a fairy. Eh? Okay. Alright, time for the boss. Um, so the last two bosses, not counting the wizard, I could just use arrows to beat them. 
I guess I'll keep the hammer equipped just in case that's required for this boss. Okay. Alright, what we got? Okay, so the hammer is required. Okay, so it looks like it's alternating which direction it, it hits. Okay. And you gotta be really close for this hammer to, to do anything. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Fuck! Oh man! Alright, that's actual death. Shit! Okay. And there's me saying, I probably don't need... Two fairies. Fuck. Um, I want to get to that fairy room again, then. Uh, how do you do that? I think it was a warp. Get there. Warp from the right room, maybe. I definitely need fairies now. <laughs> Who's this? Yeah, yeah, it was this, okay. Okay, this brings us to the fairy room, and it's also conveniently a... quick way back to the boss room. This is very nice of the developers to structure it this way. Fairy room. Keep it. Fairy, keep it. Okay. Cool. This. get back to the boss, but it's fine. Okay. So I'm thinking of how I want to approach the boss next time. So it looks like you can only damage the boss at the start with the hammer. And then for phase two of the boss, I might try arrows.
guess bombs might work too. It does stay in place for a while. Fucking turtles, man. Please. Gonna die before even getting to the boss. Uh. Got his ass that time. <sighs> okay. Absolutely dominated. Okay. So this was Shadow Temple? Keyboard. Oh, this fucking keyboard, dude. Alright. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He's trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Sure. May the way the hero lead to the Triforce. Yeah. Shadow... Temple... Uh, 358 with two deaths. Okay, cool. Alright, what does the map look like now? Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, so now that I have the hammer, I can get past the the things that were blocking me from um, getting to the the center center left that um, that circular forest thing because I think at this point I really 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 need the uh, uh, the fast travel loot and I'm pretty sure that's where you get it um, it's also along the way to two marked on the map here it's pretty nice that it 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 just straight up tells you what number each one is. Unlike Zelda 1, where you had to, to stumble across them first and then it told you what uh, what number each one was. area. Was 
goes this way. Up here. I'm sure there's like a piece of heart. Heart piece somewhere. This is how you leave the area. All right, cool. Okay, so. Yeah, it was right here. Nice. Oh. Okay, so those are not, not rocks you can pick up. This way to bomb shop. Huh. Okay, well that's where I wanted to go. There's also a, what looks like a... Some building here. What is this? That is, in such a dangerous world, you may need many things. Select something that you like. I don't, I don't know why I would need another shield. This appears to be the same shield. This also appears to be the bomb shop. Um, I don't really need any of these right now, though. So. Sure. Like I'm thinking back to Zelda One. You could lose your... It was either your shield or your sword. Um, from, like, I think the pancakes eating you or something like that. The pancake enemy. So maybe that mechanic is in this game, too. And if you lose your shield, you can go back here to buy another one. I suppose. Okay. So, take that. Okay, so this looks identical to the, the light world version of this. We can jump into the water from here. Okay, so if that wasn't the bomb shop, then... And what is this? Okay, this is our house. Our house is now a bomb shop, I guess. Uh... You can't carry any more now, but you may need some later. This isn't this isn't a bomb upgrade. This is just hey, you want to buy a bunch of bombs? The the other shop also sells bombs, so huh? Okay, I'm I'm curious how much these cost from this guy. The other guy was charging fifty, I think, for ten. They're 30 bombs. Buy them. Thank you very much. I still only have 10 bombs, though. You got some bombs, pick them and throw your bomb you placed. I still only have 10 bombs, though. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so there, um, in Zelda 1, there was a bomb upgrade that you could get, and it was really expensive. Um, I'm assuming same, same deal here, probably. Uh... Anything different here now that I bought from him? No. Okay. Erp. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep keep heading west to that forest to see if I can find the flute guy. Is that this? Out of here. This is pretty much identical to the, the layout of Light World. After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my fruit 
there was some flower seeds. You try to find it for me? Sure. And I'll lend you my shovel. Good luck. Oh, okay. You borrowed a shovel, you can dig in many places you'll never know what you'll find. Okay, so we got a shovel. Okay. This this seems self-explanatory, but uh just in case. Shovel. Use this to dig holes in the ground. You cannot dig in some surfaces. You need this shovel to find the flute. Okay. <laughs> that that all checks out. Okay. Um, so I should be able to magic mirror to temporarily go back here. Um. Okay, so this is a spooky ghost. Huh? Okay, so because I got the cutscene there, it... Okay. Alright, so he said he buried the flute with flowers. Yeah, I suppose if you if you don't understand what the guy told you, then... Like, chances are, maybe I didn't understand, but... It looks like... We're just digging up all the flowers in this in this grove. Cause there was there's also a, an area that had animals in it too, but it was where the um the master sword was, and I don't remember there being flowers there. Alright, don't mind me, you just ruining this grove. Here's the flute. Its music surely has a mysterious power. Okay. Flute, a lonely lad, will give you the flute, which plays a beautiful but slightly sad melody. When you are granted it, be sure to fulfill the request made of you. If you have the flute, it'll make your long and difficult journey a lot easier. Okay. So it, it, it doesn't tell you, like, hey, you can fast travel with this, but... You could, you could fast travel with the flute in Zelda 1, and Zelda 2, actually, now that I think about it. Um, actually, could you? Never mind, no. You needed the flute to, to wake up Snorlax in 2. Uh, the river monster or something was the, the use for the flute in 2. Um, Alright. Thank you, Link, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. Um. Uh. Hey, buddy, are you okay? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well. Okay. Um. Okay. If I, if I magic mirror here... So I'm going to have to truck back here in order to go back to the, the other world. But I definitely want to go to the, the village and figure out this fast travel. The tired old man, that, that might be the guy in... Oh man, There's enemies all over the place now. That might be the guy in the uh, in the tavern. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. This guy zzz, snores. Zzz, zzz. Zzz. Okay. Play the flute for him. Mumble, mumble. Oh, is this my son's flute? Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he all right? Um. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute and will you play its sweet melody for the bird in the village square? I beg of you, please. My son would probably want it this way, but still, I wish I could see him once more. Okay. Waterfall of wishings, that's still the same guy. Okay. Well, old man, I can send you over to the dark world and you can go hang out in the grove. We got a duck. It's a nice duck we got there. Um. Okay, we freed the duck. <laughs> sure. All sold out of bottles. Um. Okay, so we can summon our duck. Oh. Okay. And it just gives us fast travel to. All over the map. That's very handy. Hopefully this duck also exists in the dark world. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the dark world. trying to think there there's all sorts of stuff that I can I can do now in the the late world here now that I have the the hammer and can can use that on the post things but where most of those things were so my notes I have waterfall of wishing in the northeast at the top of death mountain left of the shrine hold up the master sword to get magic of ether um I should do that. I should get some magic, actually. Let's let's go there first before going back to the Dark World. And there is a Dark World portal on Death Mountain, so... This, uh, this checks out. We'll do this. Um... Fuck this guy, get health back. Uh, the wizard connected the two worlds somewhere around the castle. I'm gonna keep you comfort. Okay. Derp. Um, so there's also a heart piece behind the Lumberjacks. Uh, and I think I can get to that now that I have the hammer. Um, Zelda said she's being held on Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. Um, but that's in the Dark World. Which, I suppose that's technically where I'm going right now. way through all this shit. <laughs> uh... Oh, god damn. <laughs> Alright, well... There's something I can do over here now. So this I needed the hook shot to get across there, most likely. Magic mirror didn't do anything here.
Okay. So I've been in here. Oh, there's also another. Yeah, there's another heart piece up here. That that one feels like. So I can't I can't drop down there because there's the the texture below there. I'm not sure why you would, but you can. I guess I can try that out. Oh, I need to go to the dark world anyways. Um, then it was to the left of of this right here this thing raise your sword hold up the master sword and you will get the magic of ether oh okay okay this is the ether medallion its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind Watch your magic meter. Okay, so we got ether. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can summon a Megazord soon. Um, ether, ether medallion charges your sword with a cold chill that freezes the surrounding enemy. Ether medallion has the same effect as the ice rod, but it works against all the enemies on the screen. All right, well, to be honest, that does not sound very useful. <laughs> But okay. Um, Alright, sure, we did that. Uh, heart piece. Okay, sure. Alright, now I want to go check that... Uh, this thing while I'm here. I'd like to be able to... Find the potion seller so that I can. Nope, don't you dare. Alright, I'm gonna drop into this hole and see what happens. Okay, this is this is new. Okay. Yeah, Spooters and Bulldorms. Okay, so where does this go then? Oh, I can drop down from over there. Yeah, okay. And that's probably how you get something. Uh, okay, let's let's do that because otherwise I'm gonna forget. <laughs> um, so I want to drop down from the left side of this left side of this. Okay. And this, I can probably climb up some stairs to get to that heart piece. Yo, let's go. Cool. Alright, so this one was... Um... This one is Death Mountain. Dropping off 
ledge from top. Okay, so that's our eighth heart piece. Okay, what is this? Link it is I, Sasrala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hair at the top. Oh, that's way ahead of you, Sasrala. Apparently, you're supposed to get this way earlier in the game. <laughs> Whoops. Um. <sighs> okay. Okay, what do I want to do now, then? Okay. I want to go back up to the top of this again and get to the Dark World. And then from there, hopefully the fast travel works in the Dark World. <laughs> Hopefully this duck exists in the dark world. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to start looking for dark world portals. I suspect it the duck does not exist in the dark world. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Um, okay. So the duck only exists in the world of light, huh? Which means I gotta walk my ass all the way back. Um... Actually, no, I don't. I could just use the mirror, can't I? I could just use the mirror. What am I thinking? Um. I can use the mirror and then just summon the duck. Where's this go? Oh, okay. Yo, okay, there's there's a second portal. Cool. Um What is this then? Sounds like a fairy. Oh, okay. Sure would be great if I could find another bottle somewhere. Okay, so if I need an easy fairy, fairy fill up, it'll be right there. So like right here was where the other one was. So maybe there's another easy to get to portal from there. Oh, also, I can go to the, the desert. And maybe the guy over here will um, will talk to us now. Because we know that this guy is a, uh, used to be a thief. Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man. Leave him alone. So this guy. Assuming this is the same old man uh, just outside the desert. 
Assuming that's the same guy. Oh. Okay. Check out the cave east of Lake Hylia, strange and wonderful things. I've okay. That's a second NPC in the game that's told me about that. So this guy's wearing the Thieves Thieves Guild clothes, but I don't know if this is the same person that those are talking about. This is a cave that had a wise man in it, I think. Oh, or it's fairy. Okay. I'm trying to think of where where another likely um, dark world portal would be. I don't think there's anything that I could do in the desert now that I couldn't before. Like this. This is probably one, but I can't pick this up yet, so I think I need to warp over to, uh, five again, and then we'll have to walk back to, uh, to seven. So is this any different in the dark world? There's no fairy music being played here. And this appears to be a bird. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. How about it? This sounds like a scam. Uh, is the profitable story tell people that you have a profitable story? And then get them to pay? Well, let's hear it. Ah, thank you. They say there's a tiny circle of rocks in the lake at the source of the river. Don't know what will happen. Might be fun to throw something into it. Ah, I see you. Okay. And that's profitable, apparently. Throw... something into... circle... Hey, boys. Of rocks at river source, I guess. Okay, sure. All right. So as far as where I'm at in the game right now, um, I have done one of the dungeons, the the shadow dungeon. Um, it's going good. I died to Moldorm. Moldorm kicked my ass, the, the worm boss in the Tower of Hera. Um, and then I also died once to the big lizard boss with the iron mask in um, the Shadow Temple dungeon. But then everything else has been pretty smooth going. This is a. That thing does so much damage, holy shit. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Um, Alright, is there anything over here? So I got the flute. Oh nice. Yeah, I figured that would be a pretty long game. Hopefully it's continued to be a fun game and hasn't gotten stale over how, however long it's been. Oh my god, those, those things hit so hard! Holy shit! Of course. So this, these I don't count as deaths because I have fairies. Only when I get the game over screen is it a death.
Kojima's got another winner. Okay, good. Good thing they're making a sequel then. Keep pressing start to bring up the map. That is not how you bring up the map. Um, okay, so there's a shop to the south of me that sells a shield, a potion, and bombs. I don't need any of those things. So I guess I'm just heading to two. Ooh, I wonder if I have to... So two was where that, um, that sluice gate was. Where you pull the switch and it changed the water levels. Because this is a video game. Um, I wonder if I have to mess with that. I did it again. If I had to mess with that before actually starting the dungeon. I suspect I do. According to the map, this is the entrance to dungeon. Okay, this does look different. Link of Desire saw Strala objects is simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of the thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. So I need to go back to the other world and, and do the sluice gates. <laughs> Alright. Like I suspected. Back to the dark world. This... This should be flooded now. Yep. Cool. Okay. Got... Stairs down in the bottom. Ooh, what? Oh. I can't swim. Hmm. Okay. According to the manual, uh, you need flippers. You need the the Zora flippers to be able to swim. want to see what's over here. If this, if this has the same underground area as the last place. Should have been right here is where it was before. Alright, what's, what's the deal with all this? That didn't do anything. Okay. Alright, so Zora Flippers. 
likely in the water area. It said the source of the river. And that makes me suspect up over here, because that's the source of the river. Um... I know if I if I save and quit, it'll bring me back to the um This will bring me back to the top of the pyramid, I think. Yeah, okay. So this gets me closer to where I want to be. Anything here? Oh, yo, okay. Cool. I will take that. Um, Dark World Pyramid. Right side exterior. Okay. Anything hidden over here? Alright, so I want to head north from here. Apparently there is a circle of rocks. all this then. Just another shop, huh? Okay. I know, right? Like, I need... <laughs> I really need an armor upgrade. Very badly at this point. Oh, that's right, I need that. The better power glove. Okay, so there's there's our first Zora. It just looks like a duck. But the item is called Zora Flippers. This is certainly the source of the river. It looks like I might have to switch between Light World and this world to get past here. This way, right and up to the Lake of Ill Omen. Okay. Well, let's go there. That sounds like a swell place. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Okay. Like this flower. Uh oh, am I getting cursed? It's a fish. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. Oh. It is the Quake Medallion. It causes... The ground to shake and defeats. Nearby enemies, watch your magic meter. Okay. So this was... 
Quake, if you drive your sword into the ground when you have this medallion, the earth will come to life and shake violently. Such an attack and the fear it creates are bound to affect the enemy. Okay. Well, that was that was very much not Zora Flippers, though. <laughs> Let me just... Alright, hold, hold on. Let me scroll up. Maybe the manual says where to get the flippers. Is it? It said where to get something else, so maybe it will also do us a solid and. Uh... Go. Zora flippers. These flippers belong to Zora the Manfish. Whose domain is the wet blue yonder. They are a necessity. You cannot swim without them. If you try swimming without the flippers, you'll be returned to land. To get through this adventure, you must get your feet wet, so find the flippers as soon as possible. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, they, they weren't lying about that. We can't even do Dungeon 2 without them. Uh... I might have to visit the fortune teller because if it wasn't there then I I don't really have a clue where to check I think it's fortune teller time because... Oh god, are you kidding me? Wait, this is gonna warp me again? Okay, never mind. Okay, we got our duck. So if I warp back to two... Have I even been to two yet? I don't think I even have. Oh. Okay. Hello. Mmm, the smell of rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. Haha. <laughs> okay, well. Here you go. Haha, <laughs> thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Red is a medicine of life, green is a medicine of magic, blue renews both life and magic. Have a sample. All right, so that's a potion shop. Come back to the shop later for something good. Okay. Waterfall of Wishing is just ahead. Waterfall of Wishing, okay, maybe that's what it is. I'm trying to remember if I went there in the dark world or the light world. I went there in the dark world, so... Maybe this is where you get the flippers? If you do this part... ...in the light world? Oh, there is no... Okay, so that might be the waterfall of wishing, or maybe this is the waterfall of wishing? This, okay, this is clearly the waterfall wishing. Okay. Alright, so there's a heart piece up there. I strongly suspect this is where the... the flippers are. And the 
frame rate is having a bad time with this area. <laughs> Ha ha! What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Ah ha! We won't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for five hundred rupees. All right. Well, good thing I have all this money. Five hundred. One pair of flippers coming up. We'll give you a free bonus if you purchase. I'll let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where your surface. Wah ha ha! Cool. Bot Zora's flippers with these, you should be able to swim even in deep water. Cool. Alright, anything behind the waterfall? Can't go behind the waterfall. Lame. 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 Alright. So we can go down there. This might be how you get the heart peaks. Yeah, this might be how you get the heart piece. Yo, let's go. Cool. Um, so this was Waterfall of Wishing Past King. Oh god, come on. tablet. My tablet is freaking out. Okay. Okay, cool. So now that we got that, that certainly probably opens up a whole bunch of stuff. listen to this waterfall sound effect anymore. <laughs> okay, what about this? Yo? Yo, okay. Mysterious pond. Once you throw something in, what will you do? Throw an item. Select an item using control pad, throw it. Okay. Arrows? Yo? Hello there, did you drop this? Yes, I did. I'll give this back to you then, don't drop it again. That looked like it. Okay, that looks the same. Okay. Let's throw an item. Boomerang. Whoops, I dropped my boomerang. Did you drop this? I did. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. Yo. Okay. This is the item upgrade fairy. Yo, red boomerang. You got the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and further. Cool. Let's go. Okay, cool. I fully expected this to be like... There's... 10 of these fairies scattered around the game and you need to find all of them and only upgrade one thing at a time. You dropped this? I did. I'll give it back to you. Don't drop it again. Okay. Okay. So she didn't give us a bomb upgrade. Or capacity upgrade. Alright, Ice Rod. We're just gonna drop every damn thing in here. I'm probably gonna have to come back here later too. You drop this, don't drop it again. Once I get more items. Put something in, I will. Uh, I doubt she can upgrade the magic, but just to be sure. I did drop this, don't drop it again. It looks like if I just hang out here, it'll probably give me the prompt again. Yep. Okay. 
All right, I'm not gonna bother with those. The lamp, I don't see how you could upgrade this. Maybe to use less magic, but sure. Did you drop this? I did. Don't drop it again. Hopefully I can drop my armor into here. <laughs> As you could give me an armor upgrade. That would be great. Or my sword too. Uh, all right, hammer. So far, we've only gotten a boomerang upgrade. You just dropped this, I did. Don't drop it again. All right. Okay. Ocarina, I don't see why. Or maybe the gloves. But let's, let's just be thorough. You never know. You never know. I dropped this, I did. Okay. I was hoping like, oh man, maybe she upgrades it and I can summon the duck in in uh, the dark world. That would have been pretty nice, but nope. Did you drop this? I did. Don't drop it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the one thing that you don't try is always going to be the correct answer. Especially so in, in adventure games. Okay, not the book. I figured that one. Okay, so after the book was the... Um, I think the boots. Something that likely can be upgraded. Oh no, the mirror. Probably not this either. Did I drop this? I did. Don't drop it again. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, surely she can upgrade these. I drop this, I did. Don't drop it again. Okay. Dang it. Okay, not that. That'll probably have to find the upgrade for that somewhere. Okay, what about new kicks? You drop this, I did. Don't drop it again. Alright, we're like... We're like 1 for 15 at this point <laughs> on upgrades. Come on, lady. Flippers. Pearl. Okay, we can't put our sword and our shield in there. You dropped this, I did. Don't drop it again. Okay. Absolutely riveting gameplay here. So this is the Moon Pearl. I doubt this will do anything. You drop this, I did. Don't drop it again. What if I do drop it again? What's she gonna do? Alright, our sword. Please upgrade this sword. Did you drop this? I did. Don't drop it again. Okay. Alright. Sure. Okay, what about the shield? drop this I did I like an honest person I will give you something better in return let's go okay your shield is improved you can now defend yourself against fireballs cool okay actual upgrade all right can she improve it again
Did you drop this? I did. I'll give it back to you. Alright. And then maybe my armor. I can throw my clothes in here. Bottle, bottle. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Does she give me another bottle? Okay, so we got a, a boomerang upgrade and a shield upgrade out of this. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better. Re what? What's she giving me? You filled your bottle with the magic medicine and magic to get a potion free is quite a bargain. It's just... It's a magic refill. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, it's so easy to get back. Alright. Great, thanks. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna have to remember... Uh... Okay, so that's that's where the upgrade Barry was. I'm likely gonna have to be back to her later, because there's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7... At least seven items that I haven't gotten yet. Um, chances are she'll be able to help me out again later. So now that I can swim... I could do the Dark World Dungeon. There's multiple places on the lake that I can go to now. Um, okay. All right, I'm I'm probably gonna call it for tonight pretty soon here. I just want to see if there's uh, anything constructive I can do over here now that I can swim. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so this... This mostly means that... Uh, like down here is probably the the most useful application for swimming. Um, hmm. Okay. Here's the forest. We gotta go through the Lost Forest again. Hmm. And that'll be the dungeon after this one. Okay. Alright, sure. Alright. Good progress for today, I would say. Solid progress. So if I load this, it just brings us back here, which is fine. Um, okay. Alright. Commit our save to... Here. Reboot the mister before the screen starts flashing. All right, cool. Five hours in. Uh, as far as progress goes here, um, we did Palace 3 at two and a half hours in, got the Master Sword 15 minutes after that, defeated the Wizard at 307, and then beat Shadow Temple at 358, and then did some overworld exploring. So that's uh, That was what was accomplished here tonight.